Hey. Hmm. You're live. Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name's Matt Conager, and I'm building a Kid Fox Model 7 STI. Thanks for coming back to the channel. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell for future notifications when good videos like this one come out. In the previous video, I was reaming out the outside Detail A cable bushings up front. I ran out of time, had to go to dinner, got to feed the machine. So after dinner, came back out, and it's too difficult to get that... Well, it's not too difficult. I can get the reamer in behind the inside forward bushings. The problem is, is the drill is hitting up against that centerpiece, which I believe goes back to the um, flaperons. So I've got to uh, come up with a little workaround. I'm probably going to get a, one of the U-joints I've got for my socket set. I'll put an extension on that, and uh, I'll just take the reamer in from the front so I can offset the drill a little bit, and I'll uh, sustain that extension piece so I get a perpendicular ream into that bushing. Make sure I don't take any metal off and I'm just taking the powder coating off. After that I'll put in the small placeholders until I get the message back from Brandon. I uh, send an email out asking him if I'm going to put the six inches in all four of those up front in addition to the two in the back for detail A. Um, get the other pieces cut for the details B in the back and we'll get those put into place and uh, hopefully I'll get this email back before he gets off work and I can either take those little pieces out, slide the six inch pieces in, if not I'll just uh, label it with a piece of blue painter's tape for now with a note there and a note in the builder's manual stating that this portion hasn't been completed, just waiting for clarification on that. And then uh, I believe once I get these uh, cable slides put in place, if I haven't gotten the warp taken out of them yet because they were like I said, they were in a loop in the box. Since I got the kit back in 2019, I want to probably get that taken care of. Otherwise, the cable's going to grind a, a portion of those tubes off. That probably won't be desirable. All right, guys, let's get into the video. So on these four pieces way up front, I messaged Brandon and asked him if, uh, since they are detail A, if they're going to require the six inch piece, and I'm going to wait for him to respond before I cut the rest of that tubing, because in the past I've assumed a few things, and then I found out that, as usual, I assumed wrong. So for now, since I cut four six inch pieces, I'm just going to put two of them in, and I also cut short ones, which I thought were for this detail because I thought these were bees until I looked a little closer. So until I get the response back from Brandon, I'll just leave these in for now so that I don't cut too much tubing because Kit Fox seems to be very good at giving you the exact amount you need. So I'll put these short pieces in and I'm going to put some tape on here so that I remember to check this off. I also don't have it signed off in the book, so it'll just be a, a subtle reminder for me to check that. That does say six inches here, question mark. I may have seen a sign like that before. Remember, these haven't been reamed. Supposed to stick out a quarter of an inch aft. I'll probably have to adjust them again, but the rest sticks out to the front. I think I'm gonna tie them together so they straighten out a little bit.
I can't go back any further because I'm hitting this cross member in here, so I'm going to leave it at that. Pretty much all the way through anyway, so. If I'm gonna be able to get that one or not. Be able to go aft, possibly. Wonderful. Two left.